Khalsa, Wahid Ki Fateh. Today we're joined by the Sevadars of Sikh to Inspire and they're going to be sharing the incredible history of the organization as well as the incredible camp that's happening this year and I can't wait to hear more about this. So welcome everyone. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa. If you can start off by sharing who Sikh to Inspire are. So, Seek to Inspire uh, organization based um, in the UK. We've been running for over 10 years. Uh, I think we're on the 12th year now that the organization has been going. Organization um, that was started really to engage um, young people. What we used to call back in the day were the Sunday Seeks that would only go to the God on a Sunday, but not really um, take full um, fare that will laha from the, from the Godora from the Sangat, from Maharaj, you understand what, they, what they're doing at the Godora. And it was just about walking to the Godora, putting their head down, um, as uh, little kids were saying, uh, banging their head on the floor in front of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, and then getting some prashad, eating anger, and there you go, that's our Sunday morning done. Um, and it was something more to help engage um, the, the gener next generation, the third generation, or even the second generation, because we've seen a lot of people like me who are first generation and second generation, and my kids who are third generation, uh, engage and learn something yeah. and take some laugh from the Gondori. Um, and through over the years, we've developed different things. Um, you know, there's a lot of online prachar, there's a YouTube channel. Uh, but one of our main aspects, what we do, like our pinnacle, our, our you can say, showcase event every year is our camp. So that's what we've, you know, we've come here to talk about, share <laughs> our experiences and what people can take away. Uh, from a five-day retreat where we just, you know, what we what we want our ideal seek to be like when we attend the Godra, the Piyar, the Prem, the Sharda, the respect you have for doing Guru, Guruji's Darshan. And is that something to learn over five uh, four, five days at a retreat? That's amazing. I mean, I can speak from personal experience. Guru Sahib Di Karpadinal, I go into Sikhi through a Sikhi camp. I don't think I ever would have gone to Sikhi without having attended a camp. So I know personally how much of an impact camps can have. So if you could tell us a bit more about when did Sikh to Inspire camps start and for yourselves, what was the why? Uh, um, for Hello, Sikh to Inspire camp, yeah. So Sikh to Inspire camp started in um, 2011. 2011 is so like within the thing saying, we're in our 12th year of camp this year. And the idea was that we do get away from our daily lives. You know, we, we're so caught up. Everyone's busy. Everyone, you know, every, every, everything you see and things have only got busier as we've gone on through lives and as we get older. But um, it was to get away from our daily routines, get away from our daily work, education, all these kind of things, and just take time out and connect to Maharaj, to Sangat, to Seva. and at the same time, doing it in a relaxed way. So where, you know, there's, there's talks that carry on. There's talks every day from um, learned scholars, you know, sing, good six with ones from across the world that attend. And then Amartvela and realizing what the life of a good six should be. So that's kind of why we did it, to get us all closer to, you know, one of, our, one of the things we say is get away from the daily um, busyness of life and just connect, connect with Sangat, connect with Seva, connect with Maharaj. And who would you say camp is for? So when I was, you know, like you and, and, and like Bhavinder Singh, um, you know, we went to camp when we were younger. And I'm only saying us two at the minute and including you, because we're kind of the, the older ones in this call. Totally we the like that, how, how much younger <laughs> means. <laughs> that, that's it. And um, we all went to camp when we were younger. And um, But as um, as we've gone on through this seva, Maji Kirpa, you know, our, uh, our personal, you know, families, they've increased, we've got married, kids. And so who is camp for? It's, it's, <coughs> genuinely, for ev it's genuinely for everyone genuinely for everyone because 
as we've grown, this this journey in our Sikhi lives isn't just for us as individuals, it's for our parvars and our families as well. So, you know, alongside the adults camp, and I'm saying it, you know, like that, um, we have a kids camp that runs alongside it as well. And they have their activities, they have their own their own set of talks that is unique to them. Because this is something that once you leave camp, you shouldn't just forget about it. We want you to implement this into your lives because that's what it's about. I think Guru Kirpadina as well. Sorry. Yeah, you. just to add on to um, Baji's point as well, it's so important <coughs> that when you do come as families as well, you get to be in separate groups, you get to interact with different people your age, but you also get to take that home. So you don't feel like you've come to camp alone and then you have to go back and implement it. You can actually implement it as a family. And I think now if we look at kind of how we've had lockdown and everything else, how we've spent time as a family together, that kind of understanding and that learning together, it's really important. So I would say if you're thinking about coming to camp, bring your family along as well, because it's so important that you all grow together on your journey um, and there's and there's so many different talks and you know what they're different age groups and you really get to connect with different sangha through your age from all around the country as well so I know with myself I've been going to the camps um, for many years now and I've made I've made friends I've made family um, from up and down the country um, and it's, it's truly a blessing blessing in disguise that's amazing and a, a, a great a great point is that uh, Alha Rising and Divi have said it is a family event. It is um, somewhere where you can come as a whole family. As Diriko said, there's a place to learn, but there's also, you know, in the afternoon we have physical activities, canoeing, water, water activities, mm. climbing. And it's amazing to go and see these team building exercises that we do sometimes where the family would go together. So they do raft building, the kids are there, the parents are there, and they're working as a team. And you don't get to get that experience anywhere else. Mm. Um, where you can go to a retreat and you know in the morning you're learning what you're learning at your level um, and your journey in the Sikhi and in the afternoon you're doing stuff or activities together as a family and you can build a relation you build your relationship stronger with your parents with your children get to understand and there's those kind of activities experience you don't really get to get anywhere um, at this price as well <laughs> <laughs> well you both of you have sort of preempted my next question which is like can you walk us through what a day in the life looks like at camp from morning to evening what what can campers expect yeah i was gonna say good and say because bavinda sings in my day is completely different i think with good and sing i could say he's been a camper and now he's a sailor so with us um, it's really weird to say this, but I've never had experience as a camper. So, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Guru Sahib the Kerala, obviously, they, um, it's early start. You get to go to um, Asadivad in the morning. Um, then Guru Sahib um, gives their darshan. Um, I think it's around about, what, 4, 4 a.m.? Um, their hukam nama. Uh, Nidhanim, um, then the Gatha that goes on in the morning. Um, I think the morning is probably one of my favourite parts because um, at home it's sometimes you get you struggle with your Nidhanim sometimes in terms of like sometimes you just wake up because obviously you've got work to go to. Um, but when, when you're spending five days with Guru Sahib, um, the Sangha gets you up nice and early um, and sometimes we don't really uh, understand the benefit of it so this year at camp um one of my students from artham academy actually come to the camp and he's i think he was only about he was quite young at the time um every single day he was at um the Amritavala, Amritavala um without fail even no matter what time he would just make sure that he's there and um, like these guys were saying in terms of not just um taking it just not just doing it at camp, but actually taking it into mm. your own life as well. Um, Guru Sahib the Kerapanali, he actually continued that same routine at home. Um, so when he went to camp, he was in Amaradari, um, I think within six months later, seven months later, um, Guru Sahib the Kerapanali, he's now received Amrit. Um And when oh, I, I speak to him, he says, uh, it always started from camp. So that morning, um, 
you can't put a price on the morning that we have at, at camp. Um, and then obviously then you have a bit, a bit of a break, uh, refreshments, whatnot. Then you just go into your talks. Um, so you have two talks in the morning. Again, then you will be followed by lunch. And then the, uh, the afternoon period, uh, you can choose from various different activities, like by this album you have said, um, which can be varied from either physical activities, it might be Q&A sessions. Um, I know last year at camp, we actually had some Sangat from Scotland as well. Uh, we ended up having just a game of football on the field, uh, England versus Scotland. Um, so it was a good laugh. Um, everyone got involved. Uh, in a friendly environment, nothing too serious, but at the same time, it was a bit competitive. Uh, no one wanted to lose. Um, and then, so after that, you have the evening divan again, and you listen to the Gita and you listen to the Gatha. Um, even though it might be a late finish, uh, somehow in the morning, Gurus have the Gerbanal, it's still nice and fresh. Um, so for me, that that's the day um, at camp. So there is time one, to rest one... in between. Yeah. We do, we do allow you to sleep. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I think um, the the amazing part of this is, and because we do spend a lot of time organising stuff, especially with the darbar as well, we spend a lot of time and effort. And you've seen some of the videos, the images that's uh, playing on the screen of the darbar. And sometimes when we first set up the darbar, is it going to be big enough? Is it going to be comfy? Or are people going to sit here? Or is the floor soft enough for Sangha to stay sitting there? And it's amazing, I think you'll see some feedback videos uh, on our page from Sangha that came from Canada last year. And they were amazed because it's the first time they experienced something like that, where people wanted to come and sit and not miss a minute of Amrathuela, mm -hmm. um, which is amazing because we, we sometimes get lazy and we say, Chalo, kal no tunge, or we'll get early tomorrow, kal no but it's amazing. The first day, we have about 100 people in the Darabar. The second day we have about 200 and last year we had about 360 people at camp i think it was and by the third day there was no way to sit in the darbar because it was so busy it was so busy and it's and the amazing the amazing thing is that a lot of stuff's explained to you the reason why we do this why we do because sometimes we a bit we we're a bit reserved we don't go to a god when we go to the god we don't always ask those questions why do we do this? Why do we do that? And everything's explained at a, at a very, you could say, a very, um, um, you say, easy level or easy understanding. Like the Hukam Nama, like Guru Milan Singh has been talking about, we have a Hukam Nama paired, you know, in the morning and the evening, and it's explained in Punjabi and English. So the Sangha know the, the message that Mara is giving to me, we can all attach to it. Right? So it's, it's delivered in different means for you. So you understand and you take that message throughout the day. And there's so many people that, um, and we always say it, and, uh, but at camp it's really prominent that people say that, I feel like that message today was actually for me. It was something mm -hmm. that I asked a question for and Maharaj has answered it. And sometimes you don't get that. But when so many people are coming to you and saying that in one, you know, in one place, that it is Maharaj Saridi Diladi, you know, Gala Sondaya, the Maharaj are always talking to you. And sometimes we don't respect that and realize that until we understand what Maharaj is saying. And, you know, it's a good place to you know, make a start. Absolutely. I think, again, speaking from my first experience at camp, I had never experienced Sikhi like that anywhere on earth. And so my whole life, I may have grown up as a Sikh, but I didn't actually know what Sikhi was until I got to go to camp and I got to just immerse myself. Because I think that's the other thing that I'm sure when you can touch on in more detail, but the world shuts off for those five days. It, it's incredible that it doesn't exist. All that exists is what does it feel like if your entire life was to serve the Guru, to serve the Panth and to live as a Sikh? If Sikhi was first in your life, what does that look like? And and I know I, you guys have probably had to deal with this every year, but you you leave camp with such a high and then you have to go back into the world and it's such a blow because that, that perfection, suddenly the dunya is not, not what it was like at camp and you almost have to readjust to civilian life again after having just been in absolute anand for the entire week. I know you have themes every year what with everything that's going on in the climate with everything that's going on in punjab right now what is this this year's theme for the camp 
So this year's theme is power. And that's that's power on a a personal level, a community level. It's power of Guru Sahib, it's power of the Sangha, it's power of the Khalsa Pant. And it's even before this club, because obviously I'm like Bhavinda Singh saying, you know, the planning that goes into it, we start these com- camp finishes and then we have two days between us, you know, just to kind of, like you said, to get over the camp blues as um, they've been coined over the years. <laughs> and um, then we're straight on to planning next year. So this year, you know, come the second week after camp, well, you know, a few days after camp's finished, we'll start planning camp 2024. And so this was already kind of at play from back um, from last year. And the theme was of power because we as a nation, because we have moved away from Guru Sahib, and I'm not saying everyone, but as a, as a whole, we kind of moved away. You know, when we question Gurbani, when we question Rath, when we question things and parampara that have been given to us by Guru Sahib and we've been blessed with, we are, you know, having the nails into our own coffin as such. And so we thought this power needs to come back. And um, and then, you know, unfortunately, and, uh, and that's not even a strong enough word, but, you know, these videos of Sikh children being bullied, we we wanted to, you know, I've got, I've, I mean, obviously, you know, as I've you know, I've got three boys and um, I don't want my children, your children, our children um, being bullied in any way, anywhere. And so it was also a case of reigniting the the warrior spirit, the Sant Sabai that Maharaj blessed us with, to have that confidence. Because sometimes coming to camp, there will be people that come to camp that are coming by themselves. There'll be come, people coming to camp who don't like, who are pushing themselves into new um, areas as such, be it getting up from the real or even being talking in a group. And it's like um like you were saying earlier it's not it's a non-judgmental way in which you can come and reignite that confidence within within yourself and regain that power within us so the theme overall is power and the talks will be on we've got um by gurgil singh who's coming over to talk about and uh, we're talking about the power of Punjab, dr um and Gurtej Singh, who will be talking over the power of the Khalsa, and and uh, Indraji Singh, power of Rdas, um, Gurmilan Singh, power of Sikhi, Bibi Amanjot Kaur, power of Gurbani, and by Jasdeep Singh, the power of the Etias. So this will cut, touch upon all the different aspects across the spectrum of how that power belongs to us as individuals. And then in addition to these, because you touched upon it and Bob said it as well, you know, we do let you sleep a bit. But the idea is the more you can take in, the mm. better. And so what we introduced a few years and has been um, has been good is that we will have um, we have evening talks as well. So you have your talks in the morning, the carousel, as we talk, we, we call it. Then you've got your activities, evening divan, sukhasan, and then. Um, there's another set of talks, um, one a night, and then we've got Harjinder Singh from Akal Publishers, who's um, talking about the power of oneness. We'll have Kamalpreet Singh from Sikhism in Snippets, um, who will talk about the power of um, Sants. And then um, Sivadas from Princess to Warrior, who will be talking about the power of Bibia in the Pant. So, again, it's the theme, like you said, you can see it's running through us all, but it's something that Maharaj has blessed us with Baat Shahi. Maharaj has given us this. And I think sometimes we we play the victim a bit too much. And we need to regain and rekindle our Baat Shahi. So that's, that's the theme. That's good, Pam. And that's absolutely incredible. I think uh, also just you touched on... Um, the point about Bibi as well. Banji, maybe you could share your experience because people watching this might be like, okay, there's one Bibi out of a panel of all of us. Like, is this uh, is this camp Bibi friendly? Uh, you know, is there a space for Bibi to also go through this experience? Perhaps you could share more on that. 
Yeah, no, I think this camp um, is so perfect for Bibia to come and actually meet other Bibia who are like like minded again, like that same age group I was saying, because we're going through different things in our life, all different ages. And when you can connect with Bibia who are Amritadi, who may be on the path to take Amrit or who have just started their journey, you get to ask questions that you don't always get to ask kind of when you're here, when you're at home, when you're outside, because you might not have that kind of relationship with other people or other Sangat. So it's a really kind of amazing time that you can come and like, I know I ask so many questions and I learn more um, and I can then develop my Sikhi and my journey as well. But sometimes, and again, as Bibi and I, and I use this phrase quite a lot, but how we're the backbone of Sikhi and how it's so important that we learn and we educate and we put that power within ourselves because how how is the fund going to flourish if us as Bibi don't flourish in our Sikhi and we don't push it forward? So I think you have to ask yourself the question, and you have to kind of, you have to put yourself out there and be like, how can I now go and learn more? And the way you learn more is by listening into these talks, coming and meeting new people, meeting Sangat, having discussions like in the evening, I know some of the evenings we get together as Bibi and we'll have conversations and we'll talk and, and it's an open conversation that you can have. So don't feel like there's nothing you can't ask. And that's and that's the power I think of, again, this, this word power is used so much because it's the strengths that we have. And, mm. and for Bibia, I would say that if you want to take the next step and if you want to even learn about what the camp is about or if you even want to learn about more about Sikhi, come, we'll all be there um, and, and you'll be welcomed with open arms. Um, so I think it, I think if you are a Bibia and you want to come, come, bring your kids as well if you can, bring your mums, bring your sisters um, and no matter what age you are, um, yeah, come and let's, let's do this journey together. But I think that's incredible. And uh, again, you touched on something really important there that people may not be used to from our community, but I can, again, from experience, I can say the incredible thing about camp also is, is it's a judgment free space. So all of you have mentioned a few times about Q and A's and how there is a space where the Sangat can leave questions throughout the week and they will be answered and it will be in a way that you're not judged. There's no stupid questions. And maybe you could speak more on that as well, because I think that's really important where it's hard as a community because usually everything you do is picked, picked, up, picked apart. But here is a space where you can actually ask these questions and you'll be given answers without judgment. Yeah, but you'll also be given answers by people that have kind of studied and understood a lot about what Sikhi is, mm -hmm. had Santhya, learned, learned Gurbani. So you won't just have knowledge from anyone, you'll have knowledge from people who are really kind of to, like have a really deeper understanding and it'll change the way you think as well. And we have mm -hmm. Bibia that are coming as well, obviously to come and do talks as well. So you'll have that knowledge from everyone and loads of different people rather than, yeah. <clears throat> so I guess you'll have, yeah, the knowledge from loads of different people and those questions will be answered. And I think also as, as the, if you're, if you know, you, you said something there, there's no stupid question. Um, I guarantee that um, if you've got a question in, especially in a, in a, in a camp of like 400 people, at least one other person's going to have that same question. Absolutely. And it's important that it is answered. It is important because if you have come to camp, you have to seize the opportunity. You have to seize the opportunity to learn from the Guru Sikhs. Like, uh, like Dave Guru is saying, there's people there that do an immense amount of Siva mm. and have an immense amount of Gyan. And to be able to spend time with them, and it's something you said earlier um, about immersing yourself. Mm. You may see these people online, you may see these people in talks, you may see them at the Guddara from a distance, but now in in all actuality, in all reality, you'll be living with these people for five days. And so you can you can approach them, everyone's approachable, everyone you can know, you can go up to someone and ask a question because that's what the Sevadars are there. You know, the, the Sevadars, be they Darbar Sevadars or the the speakers or any of the Sevadars running all the other Langar or anything like that. A, you can get involved, but B, you can approach them and ask why, like, like Bhavinda Singh was saying, why do we go in? Why do we take, why do we do Matai in this way? Why do we do these things? Because this is what it's for. This is, I think we have got so used to sitting online. We've got so used to, especially during COVID, 
people got so used to sitting at home in their own little bubbles. Um, but ultimately, Maharaj stresses the importance of Saad Sangat. And yes, you know, like we're all meeting virtually now and speaking like this, but how much better would this conversation have been if we were all together? And so the importance of Saad Sangat, like I said, is stressed so much um, by Maharaj, by Sikhu Gansari Maharaj, that we should grab that opportunity. And if we can apply to camp, get to camp and sit in the Saad Sangat, immerse yourself in Saad Sangat, immerse yourself in Maharaj's Darshan, Seva and Simran. I was going to say something here that <clears throat> in a society day, you know, we, we're so bogged down with work, with stress, uh, you know, finance is really a big one at the moment. Have we got enough money to do this, to do that? But if you really want to learn and you really want to adapt yourself to the life skills that will help us, because Sikhi helps us daily to, you know, to understand what's happening around us, to help deal with issues, to help deal with stress, to help deal with family. And these are the kind of things you learn. And it's a, one of the biggest um, impacts, I think, within our camp that we get is, you know, young people who start families, you know, and myself, Harai Singh, there's other civil lives as well, who come along to the camp. And we come along with our families, our children, and we get them involved in seva. And a lot of people these days you know, that, uh, you know, when they start getting into, you know, they get married, I mean, kids step away. They don't realize that how we can balance our lives as well. Mm-hmm. So this is, again, for families as well. We can, you know, people come there and they always say, you know, speak to myself or speak to some of the seva. You know, how do I carry on doing seva, get my family involved, you know? that I don't have to step away from, you know, doing something mm. that my guru tells me that I need to do. And places like the camp, you know, you can come and learn how family units work, but also as 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 individuals as well. And when we when we look around and we look for help sometimes and we're reluctant to ask those questions. But again, coming back to your original question, one of our most popular activities at camp daily is a QA. Because mm. you know the QA's are always full, either the uh, the Bibia Kunais or the Seng or mixed, because we sometimes we're shy maybe to ask the question, but we'll sit in because yeah. to listen, and the best you know, uh, the best secure you can always get is just sit and listen, and you're learning, you take stuff away. I don't think there's any Q and A where someone's walked in and said, "I had X, Y, and Z to ask, but I didn't ask it, but I still walked away learning a whole lot of new information that I never knew." And this is how we should adapt ourselves anyway. Um, Whatever we, you know, there's no point of listening or uh, looking at um, stuff without taking something away and we're always learning. I think one of the special things about camp is um, not even just the Q&As, but I think if anybody comes to camp with a question, um, somewhere within those five days, that question will be answered. Whether it's in the the, the bar side, it might be a, uh, a Shabbat that's being sung, it might be part of the Gatha, it might be part of the Hukam Nama, it might be in the Q&A, it might be the talk. Wherever it is, I guarantee, if you come to camp with a question, uh, without even asking the question, Guru Sabha will give you the answer. Um, I fully believe that. Um, somewhere in those five days, you'll get your answer that you're looking for. And it could be the start of your journey, it could be the final push that you need, or it could help you just to realign yourself to the path as well. I, I think all that's left to ask in. then is. So I was going to say it. something um, Bob was saying about Siva. It's it's very easy to kind of watch a video and um, just sit back and not apply it to your lives. But when you're at camp, each group, each group will be given Siva. Everyone has to actually do Hati Siva, be it Jori Andi Siva, be it Langar Andi Siva, uh, and Seva. everyone's going to get an opportunity to do Seva. Something um, I was saying, it reminded me probably about six, seven years ago, my eldest, Gurmukh Singh. Um, so I didn't, I didn't lose him, <laughs> but I didn't know where he was. And I looked and what had happened, he'd kind of got together with some of the other boys that he didn't know. 
And this is the thing. So what Deerut was saying, you're linking because we have to remember we are one big family. The Khalsa mm-hmm. Panth is a family. Maharaj wants us to be Sukhi. Maharaj says, Sukhi Baser, Moro Parvara, ke, let my family stay in Sukhiness. And um, so he's he's already linked up with these boys who are a few years older than him. And what he was doing, and no one, I hadn't, and as, when I checked around, no one else had either. They'd seen that when Maharaj comes from Sachkhand to um, Darbar, there's, there's a, obviously there's a route. And they'd seen for the last um, couple of days that this route is cleaned. So these, you know, um, five, six, seven year olds, three or four of them had got the hose, got the broom, and they were cleaning Maharaj's path before Maharaj came. Because they knew that that's what, that, that's what needed to be done. And that, as a parent, that as a camper, that as an organizer, call it whichever, you know, whichever uh, word you want to put on it. It's a moment that makes you realize the importance of camp. I was just, um, I was out early just now with Harjinder Singh and someone came up to me and this is not, I'm not just saying it because I knew I was coming on here. Um, a Singh came up to me and he goes, Oh, can I speak? I went, yeah, of course. I, I thought you want to talk to uh, Harjinder Singh. He goes, no, no, I want to speak to you. I went, okay. He goes, I want to say thank you. And I went, for what? And he goes, I came to camp last year. And where I was this time last year, he goes, I was completely different. My life was completely the wrong direction. Because I came to camp and my Zikirpa, the Seva, the Sangat has changed my life. And six months after camp, I took Amrit and here I am today. My guru. And I went, that's what matters. That's what it's about. It's about connecting I think you said earlier the why about camp. The why is reconnecting and, you know, the inspiration, the inspiring us to realize that mm. Maharaj has blessed us with so much. We need to take it back. Well, I think now more than ever, that really, really needs to be applied to all of our lives. And I think that's all, all that's left to ask is how do you apply? How do we apply? But, so there's a there's a website, yeah. So if you look on any of our social uh, pe- social network pages, so you got uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, are we on anything else? Um, um, I can't remember. No, okay. else, but any of those we're, pages. We're on other things. But you, look, you can look. You can look. At, you can look on the screen as well. You see the website on there. It's www.seek the number two inspire org. And you can just follow the, the information on the page. You take it straight to the camp. It's £175. Now, a lot of people are, you know, might think, oh, £175 is a lot of money. It's a five-day, if you see it, it's a five-day retreat. Five-day retreat, we provide you transport there. So you don't have to worry about driving there, wasting petrol. We provide you transport there. We provide a bed, food for five days. We provide uh, educational talks, lectures. We provide a kids camp as well while you're there. Um, we have activities like rock climbing, canoeing, um, raft building. Um, uh, there's also a, a trek as well, yeah, to a fount- uh, to a waterfall as well. So all that for 175 pounds. Just doing those activities alone will cost you three, four hundred pounds. So it's some, it's, it, it's you know, we try to charge as. Uh, um, a low price so we can get as many people to attend as possible so if you think about how much we usually spend on a holiday this is a break away and like you like yourself um, Harai and the others have said it's a way to detox to break away from the society and all what's happening around us and get a time to just relax on our own or reflect in Sangat with Guruji um, you so Easy ways to apply, go online um, to the website or just check out one of our social media pages as well. Perfect. But I also well, think it's really please. important to add, just sorry, the oh. last bit, just to say that when you're investing in yourself, there's no price on that. And this is an investment on you mm. and the way you live. And I think that's really important to remember because this you can apply to everyday life. You can go back to work, the way you think, your mentality, everything changes. So that investment on yourself and your family is something that you can't put a price on. With the cost of living that's nowadays, it's probably, it's probably cheaper to go to camp than it is to stay at home. 
So just another incentive, really. <laughs> Well, I think I think on that note, Sangati, make the effort. This only happens once a year. It's if you've been sitting on the fence, if you've been uncertain about uh, whether you should or shouldn't go, just think about it. Ekuri hona saldevich. Take that time to connect with the guru. Take that time, like uh, what you were saying, to either on your own reflect or go with your family. But really make the most of this opportunity because now more than ever. It's important that we connect back to Guru Sahib, connect back to the Sangat, and really develop our relationship with Sikhi. To the Sikh to Inspire team, Sayyidanda Bhad Bhatanva, thank you for taking the time to explain the camp. And I hope to see anyone here. We hope to see you at camp. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.